The Midlands are among the most scenic parts of KwaZulu-Natal, but Nelson Mandela wasn't there to enjoy the scenery on the 5th of August 1962. He was on a secret mission, which came to an abrupt end when he was arrested near Hawick. Michelle went off to retrace this part of Madiba's journey, fitting in some adventure on the way. Michelle had spent the night in the colonial era comfort of a century old property in Peter Barris Bay, and he was up bright and early to explore the Midlands of KwaZulu Natal. It's a crisp morning here in Peter Maritzburg, but after an incredible night's rest at the charming Imperial Hotel, I am ready to meander in the Midlands. Let the adventure begin. The Midlands cover the inland area of the province, south of the Moy River and up to the foothills of the Drakensberg. Karkluev is one of its attractions with a canopy tour of the forest. Morning. Hi there. I'm really looking forward to experiencing this. What can I expect? You're going to be sliding today through the second largest indigenous forest in Southern Africa. This is known as the Karkluf Misbelt Forest. I'm going to be handing you over now to CB. CB, how are you doing? I'm all right. I'm going to get in your harnesses. You cannot jump in here. The harness left Michal with little room to wiggle, but he wasn't complaining. I'm definitely feeling strapped in there. Gloves and a helmet okay. completed Michelle's protective gear. And this one is going to protect your head from the land. OK, Michel? Cool. In the past, this indigenous forest was brutalously stripped of its hardwoods, but it is now protected as part of the 2,800 hectare Karkloof Nature Reserve. <laughs> a guide led the way, and then it was Michelle's turn to zoom down the cable. This is your transport. OK, here I go. Oh. Wow, that was such an incredible rush. If you're ready to do, enjoy it. I loved it. My ziplining adventure offered unparalleled views, and now my Howick journey continues. Michelle's next stop would be a struggle milestone. Nelson Mandela was traveling on this very road in disguise as a chauffeur when he was captured for his anti-apartheid activism. While I'm here, I definitely want to visit that historical site. Hello. Afternoon, Michelle. The site holds so much significance for our country's history. This site, it marks the spot, the exact spot when Nelson Mandela was being captured by the apartheid security police in the, in the year 1962, August the 5th. I'd love to see. Okay, Michelle, this is the beginning of the long walk to freedom. Starting from the bad place where he grew up, he was born at a village called Umvezo, where his father was a chief of that place and his mother was the dead wife of the chief. Let's enjoy the walk. This is about his childhood where he grew up, who raised him, his political career that led him to his capture. And when he was captured, he spent 27 years in incarceration. I'm sure you are ready to see the capture site. Yes, please. What do the plaques on the side represent? Oh, these plaques here, they represent different stages that Nelson Mandela took in his life story. The one that are on your left hand side, there are 27 of them. They represent the years that he spent in incarceration. Ayanda, thank you for sharing your knowledge and walking along with me on this journey. It's a great pleasure. Enjoy. It's an amazing sight. This striking commemorative work was created by Marco Cianfinelli. The sculpture consists of 50 columns that vary between a height of 6 and 9.5 meters and cover a width of 30 meters. As I stand here, its beauty is quite overwhelming. The sculptor set out to create an image that is simultaneously monumental and transient, symbolizing the strength of solidarity as well as the failure of the state to contain Madiba's spirit and example. This is the precise site where Nelson Mandela was pulled over and captured. I'm filled with a profound sense of gratitude for all that he has given up for our freedom. The town was named in honor of Britain's then Secretary of State for Colonies, Lord Howick, also known as Earl Grey, and said to be the creator of the famous blend of tea. 
The Howick Falls waterfall is 95 meters tall and it is absolutely breathtaking. According to local legend, a snake-like creature lives at the bottom. So this is as far as I go. But it's the perfect place to reflect on the day I've had here in the Midlands.